Hey guys, I uh, hope you're well. I um, ordered a new pack of the Sunoff Minis, and uh, it looks like I've got the new R2 version, the Mini R2. You can see just here on the back, yeah, it's Mini R2. Uh, so same idea as broke on the last ones. I found a, another quick and easy way here, just in case those were trying to put on Tasmoda, and, uh, and we're running into some issues. Uh, just pulled this one out of the box, brand new, and, uh, and I'll run you through the, the, the setup here. So I'm just gonna plug it in the wall back here. First time you plug it in, the light's gonna start blinking. Just hold it down for another five seconds and that'll put it into compatibility mode. There we go, we can see it flashing in compatibility mode. Now from here, simple thing to do, just come down to your, uh, your network browser and uh, you're gonna see it IT here, just popped up. We will launch that one, hit connect. The password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit next, say yes. This is gonna connect directly to the device itself. And once you're connected to the device itself, it's gonna give you an IP address of 10.10.7.1. Let's just validate here that we're connected. So it is connected, there's no internet, and it's secured. So we can see up here, I'm just gonna ping that address to make sure I have connectivity. You can see we're getting a result back from that. So what that means is we can jump over to our web browser, we can go to that same address up here, 10.10.7.1. Once that loads up, you'll get the sun off do-it-yourself mode. You can click on Wi-Fi settings, network name, sun off, capital D-I-Y, Network password 20170618SN. Uh, and if it's not apparent already, I have that Sonoff DIY network set up again. Uh, so there's our, this is already pre-configured, so the device will connect to it. Once that's all done, just hit save. And that should take the device uh, and put it over to do-it-yourself mode. If you give that a few minutes, or more so maybe a few seconds, it should, uh, it should reset itself and then connect over to uh, the Sonoff DIY network. Uh, so if we come over here, just log into the device. Once it's connected, you can then check your router and you can look for the IP address. So, uh, so you can see here the IP address of the device is uh, 192.168.2.25. Once we have the IP address, we can take it back over to Rester. So coming up here over to Rester. And we said 2.25. And we're just gonna run a, a zero comp info. Have the, the body data there, just hit send. That'll get some details. So we can see here the OTA unlock for this device is set to false. So this is right out of the gate, brand new from the box. Um, you know, you get connected to it, get it in do-it-yourself mode. Um, I use Rester, and then we can see here that the OTA unlock is false. So now we just want to make a change here. Um, so we want to get this updated, and we want to uh, we want to change this to OTA underscore unlock, uh, and then we're going to send that payload. And we can see here there's sequence five, zero errors, uh, which looks good. If we come back here and just change this back to info. Hit send. We can see here now OTA unlock is true. Uh, so what that means is we can get Tasmoda installed on it. Go on to 168, two, uh, dot 25. All right, so once that rings true, uh, we can use the Sonoff tools here. So we'll use the Sonoff do-it-yourself tool. Launch it. And you can see here, it's popped up with the device. And we have that window again that's just doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, so once you have it set up here, I'm just gonna load a firmware onto the tool. Import firmware, and I've got a Tasboda light bin. I'm just gonna select this device here and hit OK. Hopefully we see some changes in the data and it looks like it's flashing. 
And that's it. Once this is complete, you can hop over to the Tazboda device network uh, and then get all the other details set up. So you can hit yes to that. We'll let it restart, come down to the networks again. We're gonna look for Tasmoda. Should pop up here. Just gonna hit okay. popped up, connect directly to it, and then once it's connected, uh, 192.168.4.1, just give it a second to connect, and there we go, Ooh. that's it, all set.